perfect learning TV. Hi, welcome again to my video. Are you ready? Now that we have done with the law of exponent, we can go through now with our exponential function. For that, let us define first what is exponential function. So, if we have b is greater than 0, and b is not equal to 1, okay, then the function f is defined by f of x or the function of x is equal to b raised to x, wherein x is any real numbers. It's what we call the exponential function. Okay, so this is a function since we have the function of x. Let's graph some exponential functions. So, let us graph the function f of x is equal to 2 raised to x. Start with the construction of the table of values. So in here, I will use the column type, okay? So we have the values of x, and we have the value of the function. So we have 2 raised to x. We're in the value of x, we're going to substitute here, so to come up the values in here. So in here, I will use 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and for the positive, we have 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so when the value of negative 3 is substituted here, no? so using the law of exponent, 2 raised to negative 3, that is the negative law exponent, so to simplify, that is 1 over 2 raised to positive 3. And we have 1 over 8, and 1 over 8 in decimal form is 0. 1, 2, 5. Okay, so next we have if x is negative 2, we have 0 0.25. And if this is negative 1, we have 0 0.5. 0 is 1. Any number raised to 0 is 1. So that is the first law of exponent. Okay, so 1, we have 2. 2 raised to 2 is 4 and 2 raised to 3 is 8. So these are now the values that we're going to plot into the Cartesian coordinate plane. The horizontal line is what we call the x-axis and the vertical line is what we call the y-axis. It means that the values of x are can be found here and the values of y is can be found here. The values of x here the values of y here and then point out the coordinates. So 0 0.125 we're going to estimate here. Okay, the point here. Okay, so next we have negative 2, 0 0.25. So estimate again the point since we can point out the exact value or the exact coordinate. Okay, next negative 1 is 0 0.5. So the half of the number and 0 as 1. So 0, 1. 1 is 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. 1, we have 2. And 2, we have 4. Okay, so this is 4. And 3, we have 8. Okay, so we have 8, 3. Now we have the points. The last thing that you will need to do is to connect them with a smooth curve.
and write a arrowhead at uh, at the end of the graph. So to have a clear graph, I have here the clearer one. I hope you learned with our discussions. Hang in there because we still have the continuation of our topic for my next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Perfect Learning TV for more videos and updates.